Sample, as we have just learned, is a subgroup of population from which information is collected. In this slide, we will look at the classification of sampling methods with a short description. Sampling is broadly classified into probability and non-probability sampling. Let's look at different probability sampling techniques. First, we have simple random sampling. It's the purest form of sampling technique where every element has equal opportunity of participation. All the elements are selected independent of each other. Next is systematic sampling, and it involves the selection of elements from an ordered sampling frame. Then we have stratified sampling. It is the process of dividing the members of the population into homogeneous subgroups or strata before sampling. Finally, we have cluster sampling. This technique is used when natural but relatively homogeneous groupings are evident in a statistical population. Non-probability sampling is further classified into convenience, judgmental, quota, and snowball techniques. Convenience sampling attempts to obtain a sample that is convenient to collect, like interviewing people in a railway station. In judgmental sampling, the population element is selected with a specific attribute based on the judgment of the research. If drawing inferences is not that necessary, these samples are quite useful. Next we have quota sampling. Quota sampling may be viewed as two stages of judgmental sampling. The first stage is to develop control categories or quotas of population element so that different groups are represented in the total sample. In the second stage, the sample elements are selected based on convenience or judgment to fill within the quota. Finally, we have snowball sampling. In this, the initial group of respondents are selected, usually at random, or from contacts of the existing customers. They are used in studies that involve customers that are hard to find. In the next slide, we will look at descriptive statistics.